It's the latest edition of ESPN FC. I'm Dan Thomas, joined by Craig Burley and Stevie Nicol. There's only one place to start today's show, and that is at Old Trafford. Manchester United take on Wolverhampton Wanderers, of course, as it finishes Manchester United 1 Wolves nil. Uh, for more on this, uh, let's welcome in, shall we? Uh, Nader Manua. Uh, Craig, there's only one place, isn't there? To yeah. start. Well, 23 that. efforts from Wolves away from home. Yeah. At Man United, a yeah. team who are going to be fighting for the top four with a new manager after the shambles of Lopetegui going with the lack of finances. I think that tells you all you need to know about this United performance. Right. There is no explanation here. <laughs> I don't care if you go on social media and you find people trying to give you a reason why this should not have been a penalty. Ignore it. We all sat there as soon as we saw it. It's a penalty. Unless he takes some of the ball, it is a complete stonewall penalty. This, Howard Webb is going to have to be addressing this, I think, either tonight or tomorrow morning. You can't just clean somebody out like this in the box. It doesn't matter if you're a goalkeeper. It doesn't matter if you're wearing a pair of gloves. The laws are the same. The rules are the same. I think we're all in agreement. To not, and I don't know who the VAR was, to not send the referee to the monitor again in the Premier League that's worth billions and aside Wolves that might have a tough season in terms of they were fighting relegation last year. Mm. I, I, it's... It's inexcusable beyond belief. I, I've got no words to describe how you can sit there and go, move on. This is why VAR's there, isn't it? I, you know, you know the, the, the thing that I can't get my head round? It's not that somebody can make such a bad error, right? Because it, 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 it happens and it's possible. But it's not just one person in the booth. How can more than one person agree that there's no way this is a penalty? Because the only reason you don't get the ref involved is if you look at it and you go, there's no way, there's no point. How is that possible? It's just impossible. Now, I've never, ever asked for anybody to lose their job, but you cannot. Whoever was in charge of the final decision in the VAR box should never, ever be allowed to be in that position again. Because you can't go and learn. You can't, I mean, what, what, what are you supposed to do? Go, go and take a course. <laughs> They've probably spent 20 years as a referee, yeah. and if you, after 20 years, don't see that as a foul or a penalty kick, then you're in the wrong job. You're just in the wrong job. Uh, Nadam, if that's at Molyneux, is it a penalty? Damn, don't try and drag me into that. Um, it's a weird decision. And also, like, why is the ref not seeing that? I think everyone who was watching the game real time could sense, well, that's probably going to be a penalty kick. And then you see the replay back again, feels like a penalty kick. And it's it's just so heavy. Like, he's ended up, like, headbutting him. He's headbutting him. He's hit him with his arm. The guy's laying on the floor. And the ref's like, well, I guess that was all fine. Like, it doesn't get any better the more you look at it. And to think that, like, he's not even the guy that headed the ball. It's just that he's just been assaulted. He's been assaulted in the box, just trying to mind his own business. And I, I really, really don't get it. And I think, as Stevie's saying there, questions should be asked, because it's not just one person in the booth. There are assistants in there as well. I think if the team can't get that sort of decision right, then maybe we're missing something. Because if they're going to tell us tomorrow that that was the right decision, and here's the why, well, the game that we watch and we think we know and understand clearly is a different one to the one that they see themselves. It's not just that Nadam's right, it's not, it's not just that there's a little bit of contact. And the guy, he's actually flattened the guy. Yeah. I mean, completely flattened him. It's almost a head-on-head -head contact with arms up at everything. And, he, you know, I mean, Stevie's right. We, we right, it's probably gonna, we're probably going to be talking about it in the Bundesliga this season. We're probably going to be talking about it in the Liga. We might not be talking about something as bad as this, but we're going to be talking about some dodgy decisions. However, you, you can't have that. You can't have this. Yeah. You can't have this anomaly where it's so obvious that somebody's going, no, 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 this is not. Because as Stevie said, there's now, there's now no hope. Because oh. that same guy, next week or all season, you're going, right, how is he going to interpret penalties? Big calls, dangerous plays. How, if he can't interpret that as a really, really aggressive challenge by the goalkeeper, gets nowhere near the ball, flattens the striker, clears him out. 
no penalty, no even need to trot over to the monitor. And, and don't tell me this, oh, we couldn't send him to the monitor because that would waste too much time. We're playing bloody 15 minutes of the injury time these days. The start of this season, I, I, I just... It's, I haven't got anything, years. I haven't got any, any angle no to try and, no, try no, and get this. this there's uh, no devil's advocate there here. Is nothing, there is nothing. There is nothing. Um, and I, I suppose... You know, they are what we call football gods in the world of football. Um, the football gods, what they usually do, whatever you say against another team always comes back to you. That's what we have come to know. But in this case, in this situation, watching the game between the Wolves and Manchester United, the way they had performed, the last minute penalty, those were the football gods giving this poor Wolves, this poor side that cannot finish chances, that yes, you have played so well, have a chance to score a goal and win the game. Decisions like what we saw today, decisions like what we saw there, it's one of those decisions that you wish that can never happen again. I'm talking about it on a Wednesday, where we are 100%, 155% sure that another team was robbed of their chance of actually winning a Premier League game. They were fighting relegation last season, and they have a chance to win. And Craig and Steve, they're talking about it. Whether you have problems, you can see with your own eyes that that should have been a penalty. First, the referee should have seen it. Secondly, and this is very important, they are about four or five heads or six heads in Scot Scotland Park, whatever they call it, in the VAR room. This guy, their job is to do nothing but spot some dangerous tackles or maybe chances that were supposed to be goals which were stopped. It's to either give a red card or actually give a penalty or maybe give those are the things that they have to do. A penalty and this. And you'll find that the errors that this referee, this professional referees, by the way, these are not like you and me who are just seeing because somehow, somehow I actually feel like some of us people who are just watching from home, we actually make better decisions than what these people are doing. They have the technology, they're able to pause, they're able to slow move, shin any decision to see if there's anything that a clear foul that was played. And you get decisions like this. Imagine this Wolves team does not recover from this opportunity which was taken away from them. Imagine my your imagine my surprise. Where would they go next? This is where my problem is. I don't care whatever they decided with what's going to happen, that the officials are banned for next week's games and stuff like that. It doesn't matter. You've just taken an advantage which was meant to be for another team. You took it by your own choice because you're a ref and you have decided to give it to another person. That's like playing with fate. If you understand what I mean, playing with fate. A proper penalty. It's not like in the past where you had to use your own natural eyes. Why can they make a proper decision? Or maybe at least tell the ref, come and look at this because we can't see that there is contact but the guy did not touch the ball. Come and just look at this. If you think there's a penalty, then it will be a penalty. If it's not, it's not. Maybe we would have seen a different decision. Maybe another pair of eyes from what all those people were there. I don't know. Are they sitting on seats that are so giving them so much massage that they don't even care about what happens on the outside world because they are destroying so many people's chances, so many teams' chances of actually getting a win. Wolves were robbed. And you cannot blame United. You can only blame the referees and I'm getting tired of blaming the referees for decisions you'd expect them to do, which can help a team. I don't know what this is all about because it's crazy. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section because this cannot persist. This cannot continue happening day in and day out that there are decisions like this which are clear and obvious that somehow they don't even call the referees or maybe they make decisions out of craziness. Call the referees. Give him the opportunity to make a decision. That's all I'm asking. Is it hard to ask? I don't know. I don't know.